Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is another beginner's yoga practice. So just be sure to listen to your body and modify as needed. And we'll go ahead and get started. So let's start in a comfortable seated position, just resting your hands on your knees or on your legs. A comfortable seated position can be whatever works best for you. If you want to sit cross-legged like me and you have difficulty, you can bring a couple of pillows underneath your hips and that'll help you get into this cross-legged position. So begin to close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take another inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. One more inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Good. And next inhale, sweep both arms up. Interlace your fingers up above you. Press the palms towards the ceiling, reaching up nice and tall. Exhale, release the hands. Begin to twist to your right. And let your left hand come outside of your right knee or your right leg. Let your right fingertips rest behind you as you look over to the right. Or maybe look all the way over the right shoulder towards the back of the room. Make sure you're still sitting nice and tall here. Good. Let's take an inhale, come back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the left. Same thing, let the right hand come outside of the left knee. Left fingertips rest on the mat behind you. Looking over to the left, or towards the back of the room, all the way over the left shoulder. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, take the hands, bring them behind the head, keep the fingers interlaced. We'll take an inhale here, open the elbows, lift the chin, arch the spine. And then we'll take an exhale, round your spine, bring your chin down towards your chest, bring your elbows towards each other. Good. Inhale, come back to that first position. Arch the spine, lift the chin, open the elbows. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest, bring the elbows towards each other. Good. Let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good. Take an inhale, extend those hands up again, pressing those palms towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the right hand down to the ground. Extend the left arm up and over towards the right. You can keep the right elbow straight or you can bring that right forearm to rest on your mat. See if you can look up towards the sky. Extend from the hip all the way through the fingertips. So no need to round or bend your arm. You're just extending it over to the right side. Good. We'll take an inhale, come through the center. Exhale, left hand lowers down. Reach the right arm up and over, either keeping the left elbow straight or lower the left forearm down. See if you can lift your gaze up to the sky. Good. Take an inhale, come back to center again. Exhale, release the hands. We'll come up on hands and knees and then come to our first down dog. So start to tuck your toes under. 
lift your hips up and back. You want to keep your back nice and flat. So if you need to bend your knees and press through your arms to keep your back flat, do that rather than trying to touch your heels to the ground and having this rounded spine. You want a flat back. Heels don't have to touch the ground. Just press them towards the ground and press your chest towards your thighs. You can alternate bending one knee at a time to kind of stretch the back of each leg. And if your arms get tired, just drop down to your knees, extend your arms forward, come to puppy pose instead. From here, let's drop down to our knees if you're not already there. Step your right foot up in between the hands. Tuck your back toe underneath you, lifting the left knee off the ground. Rotate the back heel down flat. And then we're going to windmill that left arm up, around, and back, bringing the arms out wide, extending them from the shoulders, palms facing downward for warrior two. So let the right knee be bent and aligned over your ankle. Back foot is flat with the left foot turned in slightly. And you have a line either from the front heel to the back heel or from the front heel to the inside arch of the back foot. Good. From here, take an inhale, straighten both legs, bring the hands together. Pivot those toes to face the left side of your mat. Walk your heels inward, your toes outward, inhale. Exhale, start to sit straight down like your back is sliding against the wall, bending into the knees and bringing the hands to heart center for goddess pose. Good. Take an inhale, straighten those legs again. Pivot those right toes to face forward again and bring those arms out wide. Exhale, reach forward with the right hand. Lower it down to rest on the shin, the ankle, or the ground. Extend the left arm up with an inhale for triangle pose. We're gonna take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the left hand down, come to a lunge position. And we'll step this right foot back, making our way back to down dog. You can also come down to your puppy pose again, or come through puppy pose and then lift the hips up and back for down dog. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the other side. So we'll drop down to the knees, left foot steps up in between the hands, tuck the back toe under, rotate the back heel down flat. So check the alignment of the feet, either from heel to heel or from heel to inside arch. Left knee is bent. And we'll swing this right arm up, around, and back for warrior two on this side. Good. Take an inhale, straighten both legs, bring the hands together above you. Pivot those left toes to face the right side. And then we'll bring our heels in, toes outward, inhale. Exhale, sit straight down for your goddess pose. Hands come to heart center. Good. Take an inhale, extend those legs to straight. Pivot those left toes to face the front of your mat again. Your arms come out wide. Exhale, reach forward, lower the hand down to the shin, the ankle, or the ground. Inhale, extend that right arm up in our triangle pose. We'll take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the right hand down, come to a lunge position. Step the left foot back, either coming to your puppy pose down on the knees or to your down dog. We'll take an inhale, exhale, drop down to the knees if you're not already there. And then we'll extend our legs straight out in front of us. Flex the toes back towards you. Sweep the arms up, nice long spine here, inhale. 
Exhale, start to fold forward. Let your hands come down on either side of your legs and just walk them forward till you feel a stretch in that lower back and in the back of your legs. If you like, you can relax down a little bit more, making this more of a passive stretch. Take an inhale, exhale, make your way back to a seat. And then we'll come down to our back. So go ahead and bend your knees, bring the feet flat. Scoot the hips close to your heels. Come down to your back, hugging your knees into your chest, rocking side to side. Squeeze into a ball, inhale, hold. Exhale, come to lay down on your back. Feet reach towards the bottom corners of your mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. We'll end with a couple of deep breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath. If you'd like to stay here longer in your final resting pose in Shavasana, you can turn this video off now. Otherwise, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Just using this moment to extend gratitude towards yourself for this act of self-care and self-love today. And then when you're ready, we'll make ourselves up to a comfortable seat once again. And together we'll sweep the arms up overhead, inhale, hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this beginner's yoga practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this practice. If you'd like to see more like it, check the links in my description box about joining my channel as a member, my DJ channel, and Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.